is Glasgow Coma Scale and very beautifully we are going to learn Glasgow Coma Scale in just two minutes. Be with me and let's start. So it mainly include the three response and what are those? Let's learn that a very famous mnemonic is E V M. E for eye opening, V for verbal response and M for motor response. In motor response, you have to take most sensitive response. So what are the three? E, V, M, eye opening, verbal and motor. So let's learn one by one. E, eye opening response. Eye opening response, let's learn if spontaneously eye opening, you have to give four you have to give four before that e v m remember e4 v5 m6 this is the maximum scoring you can give so e4 <coughs> number one spontaneously four marks two speech if a person is opening eye to a speech then you will give three marks to pain if you are producing some pain to a patient then it is opening eye then it gives you have to give two marks and if not at all he or she is opening eye you have to give one marks so spontaneously four marks two speech three marks two pain three marks no response one mark done next comes sir best verbal response oriented to time place person that means perfect you have to give five marks oriented to time place person perfect five marks next comes if your patient is confused you have to give four marks if your patient is confused he don't know where he is or where she is then you have to give four marks next comes sir inappropriate words inappropriate where he's not able to produce proper words then you have to give three marks incomprehensive sound he is not able to produce proper sound then you have to give two marks and if not at all opening the mouth for speaking not even trying then you have to give one mark so sir along with me oriented to time place person how many marks you have to give yes five marks if your patient is confused you have to give four marks if an inappropriate words are there you have to give three marks if inappropriate speech is coming then you have to give only two marks if not at all speaking then you have to give only one mark next comes along with me is your motor response if your patient is obeying your command let's suppose you ask your patient to pull your hand up and he's pulling or she's pulling a hand up that means patient is absolutely five the score you have to give in this case is six score yes my dear friends six scores next comes moves to localize pain for example you are putting pressure on these areas and patient also pulling the hand from this area and is feeling feeling the pain along this area this is known as moves to localize pain that is five marks that is five marks flexion withdrawal from pain whenever you are putting your pain stimulus on a certain point the patient is pulling that organ back that is flexion withdrawal from pain and you have to give four marks abnormal flexion there is a flexion but abnormal flexion not able to properly flex so flexion comes first so abnormal flexion you have to give three marks then comes sir abnormal extension abnormal extension then you have to give two marks if no response is there marks should be one again along with me obeys your command you have to give six marks moves with localized pain you have to give five marks next come flexion withdrawal from pain that means you have to give four marks abnormal flexion three marks abnormal extension two marks no response one marks done 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 sir the maximum best response is 15 comatose client it is eight or less totally unresponsive means dead patient your score is three your score is three this is extension posturing and this is abnormal flexion so flexion comes first abnormal flexion comes first then comes abnormal extension according to the score sir next sir minimum score we have discussed if patient is ventilated if your patient is ventilated sorry intubated then your score is one if your patient is on ventilator then the score is one okay 
let's take an example of a question to how to solve this GCS score in an exam. So, 32 year male brought to an emergency from RTA, his eye opening to a painful stimulus cell. So, you have learned the painful stimulus. Let me show you a painful stimulus. How many marks you will give, sir? Here, two marks. So, our answer is two. A2. So, it is present in all the options over here. So, we are not able to even uh, <coughs> uh, rule out the one option. So, all are having E2, 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 sir. Let's learn the, uh, let's read the next line and the next line is uttering inappropriate words. Let's go back to the GCS chart. Inappropriate word. How many marks you have to give, sir? So, you have to give three marks. Let's see how many of them are having three. So, verbal response three is with the three options. So, you have ruled out this option. This is how you have to solve MCQ in the exam. So, you have to rule one option. You have ruled. Just three are left. Let's read another thing. On painful stimulus, he is able to localize the pain. On painful stimulus, he is able to localize the pain from the left side. But also right hand goes in a normal flexion that is a low score. In this, we have to calculate the higher score. Let me tell you with the help of this chart. So, moves with the localized pain is 5. How many marks? 5 marks. Then let's, let's see the options and the only option I can see with the motor response who is giving 5 marks is your option C. Hence, your answer is C. This is how you have to solve it.